The new Netflix series titled Hellbound has jaws dropping around the world. Hellbound tells the story of people who hear predictions on when they will die, and when the time comes, a death angel appears in front of them and kills them. But as the title suggests, these people aren't destined for heaven. They've got a one-way ticket to hell. So stay tuned, and don't go away, because we're looking at the characters from Hellbound ranked worst to best. So who's number 7 on our list? Let's have a look. Number 7 on our list is Cher Chairman Kim Jong-chil, played by actor Lee Dong-hee. The character, Chairman Kim Jong-chil, can best be described as a Jekyll and Hyde type figure. On one hand, he appears to be kind, but something much darker lurks beneath the surface. When we're first introduced to Chairman Kim Jong-chil, he's a pastor, hoping to help Min Hyun uncover the truth about Jung jin Su and the new truth. Min seeks out Pastor Kim, who discovers an important audio recording that threatens to expose the new truth's real belief system. Unfortunately for Min, in, however, Pastor Kim uses the audio recording to trap her and deletes the recording right in front of her. Afterwards, Pastor Kim reveals to her that he made a deal with Jinsu and to not share the file so that he can become chairman. Min tries desperately to escape, but she's stopped by a group of hired thugs and is ultimately beaten to death. What's frightening, though, is how fast Kim went from sweet to sadistic, and when he officially becomes chairman, that's when we really see just how evil he can be. Kim has no qualms about breaking the law to achieve the goals of the new truth, and isn't afraid to beat or kill anything that gets in his way. Kim has a brutal and violent temper, and we caught a glimpse of this when he dealt with Yuji. Fans are hoping that Chairman Kim will get his just desserts. Next, who's number 6 on our list? Let's have a look. Next up is the character Park Jung Ja, played by actor Shin Rock Kim. When we're first introduced to Park Jung Ja, we see that she has this seemingly perfect life. She's a hardworking mother of two beautiful children, and when we see that it's her birthday, birthday, she's getting home from work to see her kids, who have prepared a birthday cake for her. But things go from good to terrible within minutes, when an angel appears and tells her that she has three days to live before she's sent to hell. The New Truth offers her 3 billion South Korean won to broadcast her admittance into hell, and the grief-stricken Park contracts her lawyers, which includes Min Hee Jin, to draft a contract so that her children can receive the money and secure their future. What's truly remarkable about Park, though, is the unfettered love that she has for her children. She loves them so much that she's willing to send them away to Canada so they can be safe, even though it would mean spending her final moments scared and alone, without the comfort of the two people she loves most in the world. Shin Rock Kim gives an amazing performance, and in the end, after she's gotten her children to safety, she pretty much just balls her eyes out until it's time to catch her ride to hell. So who's number 5 on our list? Let's find out. Number 5 on our list is police officer Jin Kyung Hoon, played by actor Ik Jun Yang, who also has happens to be the writer, director, and star of Breathless. Jin Kung Hoon's wife was brutally murdered, and he was forced to take an extended leave from work. To make matters worse, his relationship with his daughter, Jin Hee Jung, began to disintegrate. After his leave of absence, his return to police work causes him further mental pain and anguish, as he's forced to investigate a series of grisly murders. He comes to find out that the murders were the work of demons who were dishing out their own brands of justice against sinners. But things get even worse for Jin, when he discovers that the chairman of the New Truth has been a mentor to his daughter, He Zhang, and has been manipulating her into seeking revenge against the people responsible for murdering her mother. In the end, Jin decides not to film Jin Su's death, so that he doesn't implicate his daughter in the murder plot to avenge his wife. Afterwards, Jin decides to sacrifice the truth in order to rehabilitate the relationship with his daughter. In the end, Jin essentially chooses to sacrifice the truth for his own personal gains. Stay tuned and don't go away because we're bringing you the best of the worst characters from Hellbound ranked from worst to best. Next, who's number 4 on our list? You're about to find out. Number 4 on our list is known as The Streamer, played by Korean movie star Kim Do Yoon, who rose to fame from the Train to Busan sequel Peninsula. Many fans of the series feel that he's one of the most intriguing characters in Hellbound because of his character arc, which is loaded with twists and turns. When we first see The Streamer, he's covered in glow-in-the-dark makeup, a neon orange wig, and he wears a a cob hat made from an animal skull. We come to learn that the streamer is a member of the Arrowhead and a faithful follower of the New Truth. He's wickedly violent and encourages his followers to act violently in the name of religion. Our initial impression of the streamer is one of disgust. In episode 6, the streamer receives word that he's set to be hellbound and agrees to help Soto's cause. Soto is a character who wants to expose the truth about the real reasons people are being chosen. One of the interesting overarching themes of hellbound, though, is the ability of people 
people with ulterior motives to use religion as a way of manipulating people. This is something we've seen in the real world for thousands of years. Next, we have number three on our list. Let's take a look. Number three on our list is the character Zheng Jin Su, played by actor Yu Ain, who starred in director Li Cheng Dong's masterpiece Burning. Zheng Jin Su is the chairman of the New Truth, which in essence is nothing more than a cult. Zheng has been warning the people of Korea and the world about the so-called executioners, and when they appear in Seoul, people are stunned. Zheng tells the world that the angels only pick sinners to be hellbound, and if people follow his ideologies and do what he says, they'll have their freedom. It becomes clear that Zheng is extremely popular in Korea, sort of like an iconic movie star and celebrity. When the executioners appear, they can't wait to do his bidding. In a shocking episode, we learn that Zheng is, in fact, hellbound himself, and that he's known his fate for 20 years. Even though Zheng dies in episode 3, his legacy and power is felt throughout the entire series, and although clearly evil, it's impossible not to find Zheng to be quite captivating. He makes the perfect cult leader, and overall, is hands down one of the best characters in Hellbound. Next, at number 2 in our list, we have the character Bae Young Jae. Played by actor Jiang Min Park, for many Hellbounds, Bae Young Jae is arguably the best character in the series. Bae Young Jae is a TV producer who is working on a documentary about the new truth. He's very brave and never hides his disgust for the cult-like group. Bae sees the executioners firsthand as they take his friend's life after he unveils a secret organization working against the new truth cult. Not long after the executioners murder his friend, Bae becomes a member of the secret organization and works alongside them to try and destroy the new truth. But Bae's world is thrown upside down when his wife shows him proof that their child is hellbound. Bay agrees to broadcast the demonstration in an effort to expose the lies of the new truth, and in the process, risks his own life in a fight with the streamer. Bay is a central character and responsible for countless twists and turns throughout the series. Without Bay, Hellbound just wouldn't be the same. Jung Min Park gives a stellar, layered performance and does a superb job of bringing this complex character to life. Finally, who's number one on our list and the best character in Hellbound? Let's take a look. Number one on our list is the character Min Hai Jin, played by actor Kim Hyun Joo. Min first appears in the series as a lawyer for Park Jung Ja, who has been ordered Hellbound. Min is a busy lawyer, who's also caring for her sick mother who's dying of cancer. When the public learns that Min helped Park's children escape, the public turns against Min and puts her life in grave danger. She sees the horrific fatal beating of her mother, and it's one of the most devastating things she has to endure. Incredibly, Min continues her fight against the new truth, and it nearly costs her her life. After disappearing from Hellbound for a few episodes, Min comes back with a new hairstyle and has seemingly reinvented herself. Her mission? Destroy the new truth. Min knows that the organization is predicated on dirty lies and knows that live streaming the demonstration of Bay and Song's child has the perfect opportunity to expose the cult for the sham that it is. It's Min's strength of character and her compassionate heart and desire to help people that makes her such an impressive character. And number one on our list. That's a wrap for today's video, Hellbound fans. Hit us with a like and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next one.